Lawyers. What's the law that isn't real that normal people insist exists? In the UK. People often claim that if an item is listed for sale in a shop then the shop legally has to sell it to you at that price. This is not true at all as the shop doesn't have to sell you anything at any price. Often as a gesture of goodwill shops will honor erroneous prices. But they are under absolutely no obligation to do so. Back when I had a goldfish, RIP Carl. I went to pets at home to buy him a bigger tank. It rang through at you acute zero. Zero zero. Check out girl raises an eyebrow. We share a laugh. She messes about with the system a bit more. But all she gets is you acute zero. Zero zero. So she calls her supervisor. We wait a few minutes. A few more. A queue is building behind me. Eventually she shrugs. Prints a receipt for you acute zero. Zero zero and sends me on my way with my free fish tank. Good day for me and Carl. Edit. So glad my most upvoted post is one about my old fishy friend. Comma also thanks for the little blobby guild thing. That commercial use of a photograph means selling the photograph. Commercial use means that there is an implied endorsement. You can take and sell photos of Eric Clapton all day long. Put that same photo in an advertisement for a certain guitar without a release and you can be sued. Probate attorney here. I've had many people ask me when the reading of the will is going to take place. I explain to them that only happens in movies. But one of these days I am going to have one. And hire a mysterious blonde wearing a veil to sit in the corner quietly. Then I'll tell everyone that she inherits everything. Provided. Of course. That she must adopt the dissident's cute but troublemaking six year old child no one knew about. Or she can spend the night in a haunted house. Her choice. I'm a lawyer. This is not a law that doesn't exist. But a law that is misunderstood. Typically. You can't just go get a restraining order against anybody. Most states have specific laws for who you can get restraining orders against. Typically household members or former romantic interests. Usually. It's only in domestic violence cases or for victims of crimes. You can't just get a restraining order and comically use it to keep someone 100 feet away. In the United States. At least. Re my father who is a lawyer. Policemen cannot lie to you. This is false. They can and they do. Edit. There's so many replies that I cannot even find some of the ones I'd like to respond to so I want to leave a general note for those who have asked for a reference. Frazier vs. Cup is the Supreme Court ruling that affirmed the legality of deceptive interrogation tactics in 1969. The ruling is still active. Now. But here's one that bounces around legal advice every couple months. The age of majority in Mississippi is 21. So people say your parents control your life until then and you can't move out without permission until you are 21. The truth is that the law means they have an obligation to provide for you until you are 21. You can't move out at 18 and not face any penalty or be forced to return. Although the age for Mississippi emancipation is officially 21. This only refers to emancipation from a parent's obligation to support their young adult financially. In Mississippi. Individuals age 18 and older may vote. Enter into legal contracts. Take legal action against others and be sued for damages. Similarly. An individual age 18 or older who moves out of his parents home is not considered a runaway in Mississippi and is not legally required to return to the family home. People that think it's illegal to be videotaped in a public space. An arrest isn't magically invalidated if the police don't read you your rights on the spot. There could be a whole thread of just misconceptions people have from watching cop TV. Sovereign citizen stuff. I feel like enough folks have claimed to be sovereign citizens that it's become normal. But no. Generally you can't declare yourself exempt from the laws in effect where you are. Not quite on point. A lot of people don't understand that co-signing a loan means that you are on the hook for the loan as much as the other person. The car gets repoed and then they are shocked that their wages are getting garnished. Co-signing is not you saying you think your friend is a cool dude who is good for it. 
you are saying you will pay for it if they don't. And they want you on the hook because they think there is a good chance the main applicant is a deadbeat. Basically. Don't co-sign sh tea for anybody. In California. It's not illegal to discuss your wages with your co-workers. Despite what your boss might say. Edit. I'm a lawyer in California. I assume it's the same in the other 49 states. But don't want to speculate. As a former lawyer. UK. I lost count of the amount of people that thought jaywalking was a crime. Unless it's a road that specifically states no pedestrians or a motorway. No such offense exists here. Edit. To clarify I'm talking about it not being a crime in the UK. It may well be elsewhere. Australia. USA. Too much American media. When my parents die. The government is going to seize a big chunk of the inheritance and I'll get nothing. In the US this is a very common misconception. Although state inheritance taxes vary, the US federal taxes on inheritance don't actually kick in until the estate's value exceeds 5 million US dollars. So, for the vast majority of working class folks, the federal inheritance tax won't have any effect. But people will still talk to their family lawyers and ask about how much Uncle Sam is taking away when mom or dad die. Even though many people think so. There has actually never been a Danish law allowing you to beat up a Swede with a stick. If he should walk across the ice on Orisund during winter. But. Even though the law has never existed. It doesn't mean it shouldn't. This isn't exactly what you're asking for. But I think it's valuable for people to know. You do not need to wait 24 hours to report someone as missing. It's a law that exists but widely misunderstood is the concept of entrapment. If the police put a bait vehicle in a high crime area. That is not entrapment. If the police are watching a bar known to overserve to see if there are impaired drivers at the end of the night that is not entrapment. Entrapment only occurs when a gov agent suggests committing a crime that you were not otherwise going to commit. This actually happened to an old high school teacher of mine. He thought he was going on a date with a lady he met online. When they met up for the date. Who happened to be an undercover officer. She was like. I'm not really interested in a date but for dollar sign I'll do. To which he obliged. He was charged with soliciting a prostitute. But the charges were dropped. Since he was only actually interested in the date and had no desire to solicit anything until the officer brought it up. In my country some people believe they can press charges against someone. You can't. You report a crime and the police decide if they are taking it further. It's not up to you whether charges are brought. You may want charges brought but the police drop the case. Alternatively you can refuse to press charges and the police can bring a case anyway. It's harder without a victim or witness cooperation but they still can. You do have a right to civil cases of course but when people say press charges they believe they can do this via the police. A real. But widely misunderstood law is HIPAA. People think it protects you from literally any discussion of your health issues by anyone at all. Nope. Not even close. In the UK. It's not illegal to park on someone else's drive, way. It's classified as trespassing. A civil offense. Not criminal. Which means the police can't do anything. This particularly surprises people as many think that they have exclusive rights to the parking outside their house as well. You can go 10 over the speed limit. My dad thought this was true as he was new to the country and quickly found out by a speeding ticket that it was not. Edit. I'm now realizing that this is may vary from state to state and county to county. For my case. South Florida generally tolerates 10 over but is still technically illegal. This comes from the margin of error of speed radars. They have a 5 mile margin of error normally and thus people feel it's safe to go 5 over. If you're only going 5 over and get a ticket. You should contest it. Negligent motorcycle driver forced me to hit him from behind with my car. I was young and naive at the time. Never been in an accident until then. Guy makes me sign a paper that says that the accident is my fault because I hit from behind and wanted compensation. 
I explained the situation to my dad. And he concluded that the guy was obstructing normal traffic and I had no option but to hit him from behind in the particular circumstance. The guy ended up taking us to court. Showed the judge the piece of paper that I signed. I explained that I signed it under duress and that he explained that by law whoever hits from behind is responsible for the accident. Judge looked him in the eye and asked him if that's true. He said yes. Then she asked him to point out which law states that. He just shut the FCK up. Semicolon. I'm no lawyer but I don't feel like most of the villains in Scooby Doo committed any actual crime. I don't think it's against the law to put on a mask and scare some trespasses on your own property. In the UK that it is illegal to drink under the age of 18. You can buy alcohol with a meal at 16, beer, wine, cider, and you are not breaking any laws if you give your child some alcohol in the privacy of your own home and they are over the age of 5. Edit. At 16 you have to be accompanied by an adult and it is paid for by the adult. If you live together for X period of time, you're automatically legally married. There are different time periods for different purposes. And being common law doesn't always have the same effect as being married. So for example your employer might give your partner spousal benefits after one year. But division of property laws might only apply after three. And all of this varies from one place to another. Some places don't have division of property laws for common law spouses. For example, Good Samaritan laws aren't nearly as broad as people think. For context, I work in emergency services. Some people believe that I was trying to help are the magic words that can get them out of any sticky situation. Edit. Good some laws vary by country and state. And the medical examples are a little more black and white than others. Adding a non-medical example of what I'm talking about imagine you're driving your car and notice someone on the side of the road who needs help. As you swerve off the road to provide assistance to this person in need. You incidentally run over a child on the sidewalk. After the situation is over. You're definitely not free from the consequences of running over the child with your car just because you had good intentions of helping someone else. Versions of that story have occurred. And the drivers have tried to use a good Samaritan defense because they meant well. There is absolutely some gray area on the subject. But if your unprompted action undoubtedly makes the situation worse than if you'd done nothing. Having good intentions is not a get out of jail free card. And a bunch of people don't understand that concept. No laws against driving barefoot. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. I'm a law student and definitely self-defense. Even though the law exists people in my country really think it's broader than it actually is. Freedom of speech in my country. It's federal law in the US that a plainclothes or undercover police officer has to identify themselves as law enforcement if asked. No. It's not the law. And they can tell you whatever the FCK they want. Brothel laws at universities. There are no laws stating that three or more women in one house constitutes a brothel. In many countries escaping from prison is not an offense because the desire to be free is so inherent to humans that it needs to be respected. This is providing you don't commit another felony while escaping, like killing a guard. Edit. My first award ever. Driving with interior overhead car lights on is not illegal. Semicolon. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. My first. Your mom told you that was illegal when you were a kid. Two. Huh. They cannot arrest a husband and wife for the same crime. I got the worst F king attorneys. That an undercover cop has to tell a target that they are undercover if they're asked. When will these people finally understand that this literally defies the purpose of undercover cops? That common civil liberty protections restrict individuals or organizations. Freedom of press. Speech. Due process. ETC. Only restrict the government. For example. Most organizations can restrict your speech based on their internal policies. There are instances where an organization has to provide certain protections based on federal funding gossipy. E. 
Schools implementing Title IX. In Germany. Most people believe that if a product breaks within two years if purchase. The seller must repair or replace it for free. This stems from the law that basically says if you are sold a product that had a defect at the time of purchase you have two years within which the seller must repair or replace. However. The buyer must prove the product was already faulty at purchase. Not a lawyer. But many people think that black belt in martial arts have to register their hands as deadly weapons. It pains me when people say this. You can tell who's lying their ass off when they say my hands are registered as a deadly weapon since I am a black belt in, insert martial art here. A joke taken too far. Not a lawyer. But. Unfair firings are oftentimes not illegal. People often assume that if they were treated unfairly at work like getting fired for something trivial that someone else got away with. That some kind of law has been broken and that they have a strong case for suing. In most cases this is not true. There are only a very few reasons for firing that get a company in trouble. Firing for race. Color. National origin. Religion. Sx. Age. Or disability is illegal in all states. Firing for anything else varies from state to state. In many states this means you can be fired for a medical condition. Your S or orientation. Tattoos. That stupid look on your face. Your weight. Etc. Or just because I'm not attracted to you. Good Samaritan laws, i.e. You need to help someone if you see they're hurt and in need of help. On the contrary. Most of these laws preclude liability for someone who tries to help. Such as a doctor or nurse. When they see someone hurt. Injuring killing a police dog is not the same thing as injuring killing a police officer. Some departments have ceremonies where they make dogs into officers. But these are purely for show. Giving a dog a badge does not. In the view of the law. Make the dog into a human. As a keen viewer of angry people videos on the internet. In a public place. You can't record me. I haven't given you permission. Amusingly. This is often followed by. I know my rights. And then some form of assault. While being videotaped in high resolution by the victim. Just out of curiosity. Because of all the Karens. Isn't it true that grocery stores are allowed to ban people without masks? And that it isn't discrimination because they are a private business? Yes. Private business can ban whoever they want. The trouble comes about because of discrimination laws. For example. People with disabilities or medical conditions can't be kicked out of a store if they can't wear a mask. Karens have latched onto this. Claiming they don't have to wear a mask. Because of medical reasons. They don't care that they're lying and the law says you can't ask them what exactly their medical condition is. That Costco making you wear a mask violates your constitutional rights. Only the government can violate your constitutional rights. Protection from government overreach is what the constitution is for. It does not regulate private companies. James Harden isn't exempt from traveling. Overstaying your you. S. Visa is not a crime. It's a civil infraction. Like jaywalking is. Leaving a store without buying anything is 100% legal. Comma what's a law that isn't real that normal people insist exists? Believing that freedom of speech protection laws apply to private corporations. E. G. Crying freedom of speech. When Alex Jones is cut off YouTube or if Twitter or Facebook deletes something. You are legally protected from the government preventing your freedom of speech. But you have no such protections with Vimeo or any other private corporation. Netherlands. Weed is legal. It is in fact not. Though it is technically illegal. There are places that can sell up to a certain amount. And they are not allowed to sell to tourists. Which of course still happens all the time. I mean. It's a hassle to tell who is and isn't a tourist when you've got open borders. Plus especially in Amsterdam. It would probably take down your profits. I am not a lawyer though. So I don't know the exact specifics of the laws around weed and other drugs. 
generally speaking. Almost all of these could be a real law somewhere. That's why any lawyer would ask what place you're talking about. Just because it isn't a law in your city state doesn't mean it isn't a real law somewhere. Freedom of speech and censorship laws do not apply on social media. If your comments or posts get deleted by an administrator it is not infringing on your rights. Have you been arrested for your statements? Have you been prosecuted for saying something? If the answer is no, then chill out. Edit. I'm a lawyer I'm just here to see the laws I don't know are fake. Also 90% of the time someone says first amendment they don't know anything about what they're talking about. That hate speech is unlawful. And the corollary. That there is some kind of hate speech exception to the first amendment. Whether by statute or by judicial doctrine. Nope. There is such a thing as unlawful or illegal speech. Such as harassment. Making threats or inciting violence, depending on circumstances. Or fraud. And some examples of it may also be hateful. But the hatefulness isn't the basis for the illegality. Cop is to tell you they're a cop. If they are arresting. Detaining. Or a traffic stop. Then yeah. But other than a few state laws. They don't have to tell you shti. Turns out. When they actually have to. Sometimes they still don't. Turns out. There are a lot of laws that cops don't follow. I wouldn't say isn't real. Because it obviously is. But Marisa that people insist it exists in areas where it almost certainly does not. Pretty much anything in the U. S. Constitution only applies to the U. S. Government. For instance. The government can't restrict your rights to free speech. But private companies can. Always irks me when people talk about free speech on Facebook or some other private media platform or private property.